looking for some tools or education to help me be a bit more active in my investing. I'm just looking for reactions to potential product memes. I just want you to read the question, verbalize what you think as you give the prospective meme a ranking. Let's check out michael1166typeform.com. <clears throat> okay, looking for reactions to potential product memes. I just want you to read the question, verbalize what you think. On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being best, how would you rate the domain name below as a website where you might be interested in learning about trading or investing? Quantexics.com. Context. Most traders focus too much on entries. We have great tools to help with entries, but we take the paralysis out of knowing when to exit. We use quantitative analysis to help you find the best exit. Okay, just on face value, without the explanation, I think it was kind of a strange name to use for an investing website. But with the explanation, what does the quant mean? I don't know what the quant mean. Quant exits. Taking the paralysis out. Okay. I'm not sure about the name. Give it a 6. On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being best, how would you rate the domain name below as a website where you might be interested in learning about trading or investing? Ed Stocks. Contacts making money in stocks requires an edge. Uh, I like that a little bit better. Makes it sound like you have an edge on everybody else. Okay, so this is a similar question. Everyday401k.com. Context, a simple way to add value to your retirement account over time. Uh, it's just a little bit boring. Exitemails.com. Context, trouble spot for most investors is knowing when to exit. All of our back-tested trades are held for discrete hold period and then closed. This measures the longevity of the signal, making the exit objective. We email text notification to users. I don't really like the email in the name. Seems a little simple. That just doesn't seem too good. Repaymy401k.com. Context. Make the investors aware they can roll over a 401k into a self-directed 401k. And we provide tools for them to make them, for them to make them make trade decisions. Okay, what is repaying401k.com? What are you repaying? Okay, maybe I like roll over my 401k better. Best like calm. Context, we have a correlative measures for every screen triggering on a given day. Think of it as a metadata about the market and the symbol which are not part of the screen criteria. We sum the correlative, correlative measures from each of the trades in the back test and determine if today's setup is more like the winning trades from the back test or the losers. Bestlike.com. Doesn't sound too intuitive, the name. Stockstoolbox.com. Contacts, complete set of tools you need to trade stocks. I like that. Stackedges.com. Context, our back tests are not isolated back tests. We aggregate in ranking all the setups triggering today for a specific symbol into one number. We're stacking up a bunch of edges to help users make informed decisions. I don't really understand the name. It's not intuitive to me. Tradeexits.com. Context. Most traders focus too much on entries. We have great tools to help with entries, but we take the paralysis out of knowing what I like this name. Trade exits. Tells you exactly what's happening. Stackintimeout.com. 
contacts, perhaps heavy handed, trying to describe the life cycle of a trade using our tool set. We stack up edges for an entry. A sweet spot exit is projected by showing how well the entry performed throughout the back test by holding a discrete number of days. So you get into a trade by stacking up edges and you get out by dialing in the right time period to hold the trade. It's a little too long of a name, too complicated for me. Okay, now I should submit, press enter.